Hello, everybody. I don't know who's here and who's not here yet because there is that little delay. So, um, what I thought to do is to um, let you choose because I've put some um, uh, color. Um, Cuckoo, uh, I put some color uh, recommendations for today, uh, and I thought of let you of letting you decide what I'm going to work with. And let me say that in French too. Donc j'ai fait des recommandations pour les couleurs. J'ai décidé, j'ai pensé de vous laisser décider uh, quelle couleur je vais utiliser de toutes ces recommandations. Donc, euh, c'est à vous de décider ce que je vais utiliser comme couleur. Il y a dans la description du vidéo euh, ce que j'ai recommandé. Donc, j'attends que vous me dites. Bonsoir. Good afternoon, Shirley. So I'm waiting. You see that I've, I've made all kinds of recommendations, that one metallic and uh, two other colors. What do you want? Hello, Claire. Because I also thought that some of you might have some uh, problems. Uh, some of the colors I recommended are uh, mixes. So I thought that if anybody needs any help with the mixing, I will be doing it live. Donc, si quelqu'un a des problèmes avec les, les mélanges que j'ai recommandés, j'ai pensé de les faire euh, en euh, live. Hello, Karen. <laughs> eh, tu n'as pas loupé. And while you are thinking and I'm waiting for recommendations, let me show you something that's going to be uh, in the new um, uh, tutorials. Uh, I will be showing you how to make super pearlescents and how to make your own pearlescents, that is to enhance an existing pearlescent and to make a pearlescent. And this is an example, this is a yellow for lesson that is made from scratch and I'm trying to show you the the shine on it let me try and get the I don't know if you can see it properly so donc je, je disais que un des prochains tutoriels sera de, de vous montrer comment on peut faire des super perles des super perles et où euh, de mer, faire un, un mieux euh, perle que vous avez. Donc ça, c'est un jaune que j'ai fait euh, du translucent avec de, de la mica. Parce que c'est très difficile de mélanger proprement. Because it's so difficult to, to uh, mix the mica powders in the clay. So that's why I wanted to show you how to, I'm going to make a tutorial on how to make. So this is an enhanced peacock pearl. And let me grab a regular peacock pearl so you can see the difference. So this is the regular peacock pearl, and this is the enhanced one. You can see the difference in the amount of pearlescence. Yes, the, the color is a little bit shifted because I used a lighter uh, mica powder. But, uh, yes, this will be uh, in one of the tutorials for August. Donc, est-ce que j'ai une suggestion sur la 
sur la couleur que je vais utiliser aujourd'hui. Any suggestions? On the colors? Parce que as, uh, as mixes, I recommended, uh, I know I recommended some lavenders and some pinks. Salut. So, let's do actually some mixes because you said that you have some problems with mixing. Let's actually do some metallic mix as well. Uh, donc, parce que vous avez dit que vous avez des problèmes avec les mixes, um, pourquoi pas faire des, des mélanges aussi sur les métalliques? Donc, euh, un des très euh, jolis mélanges que vous pouvez faire avec les métalliques, one of the very nice mixes you can do, hold on, let me get closer. Give me just a minute. One of the nicer mixes you can do with metallics is actually enhancing the silver. And you can make it lighter or you can make it darker. Myself, I don't like very much the um, uh, regular Primo sil silver. I think that it's way too dull. And whenever I use it, I always have to put all kinds of stuff on it. Now, a very important thing, and whenever you see me recommending... Um, Hello, Marina. Uh, whenever you see me recommending um, a mix, I said it before, but I'm going to show it to you again. Uh, when I say one-to-one -one or two-to-one or uh, stuff like that. And by the way, if I don't see someone when they say hello, uh, please excuse me, but uh, I'm trying to pay attention to three different things at the same time. So it doesn't matter the thickness. It doesn't matter at all. You can choose whatever thickness. Just make sure that all the clays are the same thickness. And then you get a cutter. Again, it doesn't matter which cutter. The What matters is to use the same cutter on the same thickness. So when I say a one-on-one, -on -one, that means one, On one. I use the square one because it's much easier. For example, some mixes would need, let's say, four to one. But I don't need that much clay. So it's much easier to just get a square and then simply cut it in four and just mix a quarter. And then I have a four to one. Uh, so let me say it in French. Um, je, euh, moi, je toujours je, je suggère les, les mélanges euh, avec les proportions. Mais pour faire les proportions, euh, là, l'épaisseur de, de, de l'argile, ça ne compte pas. Qu'est-ce qu'elle compte? C'est que vous avez toutes les feuilles d'argile de la même épaisseur. Et utilisez le même cutter sur tout. Moi, j'utilise le, le carré parce que, euh, pour exemple, si j'ai besoin de quelque chose qui a un euh, 4 à 1, je n'ai pas besoin de beaucoup de, 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 de l'argile. So, je n'ai pas vraiment besoin de faire beaucoup de mélange. Alors, si j'ai un carré, je peux faire un, 
euh, plein carré et ensuite euh, couper euh, le carré en quatre et utiliser seulement un quartier. Does that make sense? Hello, Lilou. Bonsoir. So I will make a lighter and a darker silver. I'll make actually two different color combinations. So on one of them, it's a one-to-one -one pearl and silver, and on the other one is a one-to-one -one silver and graphite pearl. So, uh, and another thing, uh, something that I absolutely love are the uh, pearlescent or metallic Skinner blends. I think that they are absolutely fabulous. So whenever you have the chance of using metallic or pearlescent Skinner blends, go ahead because they are always gorgeous. So give me just a minute to mix these. And when we are talking silver, you don't really want to mix it because uh, it's the same thing with don't use silver and gold in the same um, uh, piece because that looks tacky. Avoid using, generally speaking, avoid using uh, beige and yellows with silver because that doesn't look very good. Donc, j'ai dit, um, si on va utiliser l'argent, uh, c'est exactement uh, comme utilisant l'argent et l'or. Ça, ça ne donne pas joli uh, ensemble. Donc, um, n'utilisez pas, si vous utilisez le, le métallique argent, n'utilisez pas des jaunes ou des beiges parce que ce n'est pas joli. Good evening, Cécile. It's a good thing you're here, Cecile, because you can help me translate if I don't find my words. Oh, by the way, was all the situation on the Riviera avec, with the wildfires solved? Yes, that's why I tried to, to choose a time that would be uh, accessible to at least people in Europe and on in the northern uh, western hemisphere as much as possible. But see what a strong uh, metallic, hold on, what a strong mica shift it uh, gets when it gets to, to the mix. Look at the line. It's really, really strong. Remember when I was showing the um, uh, mica shift in the tutorial, how to uh, recognize if um, a clay has good mica shift capabilities when you pass it through the pasta machine, when you fold it, look at the line. If it makes uh, a strong line, and a little bit of a 3D effect, uh, that is awesome. That means, see, I'm going to pass it now and I'll look at the line. See how strong the line is? It's very strong and it gives the 3D effect even if it is completely flat. So this would be a very good um, mix for mica shift if you want to do a mica shift. So I got my metallics and let me see and see this one too. Remember I said that the white generally speaking is a very uh, strong mica shift uh, potential clay but because it's white on white it's kind of hard to uh, see a line. So I said the uh, uh, lavender and some green 
with the silver, didn't I? I think that's what I said. Okay. Click gold. Where did I put the silver? Silver purple or wasabi and then the second one light blue and white okay so let's do a purple and wasabi on one of them and light blue and white on the other one now i will go with the purple and wasabi on this one because the purple is darker so it would mix well it would combine well with the lighter metallic and uh, do the white and blue on the darker silver so i have some white white and blue Let's go with some robin's egg, actually, here. And then purple and what's up? Here's the wasabi. Now let's see, do I want turnip or do I want purple? I think that the turnip would work better. And I am lighting up the wasabi a little bit, probably. Because you always have to have um, um, dominant color. Okay, let me catch up on the... Oh, wow, there's more wildfire. No, c'est pas du sculpé. Uh, I mean, c'est du sculpé parce que Primo est fait par, par sculpé, mais je n'utilise jamais le sculpé 3 parce que c'est très uh, mauvaise qualité. Donc, uh, ça, c'est du soufflé. C'est le turnip. Et ça, c'est le wasabi de Primo qui est exactement uh, comme le pistachio de soufflé. Ça, c'est le uh, robin's egg de soufflé qui est approximatif comme le uh, turquoise de primo ou de fimo. Et ça, c'est le blanc. Donc, je vais uh, faire ce bleu un petit peu plus clair, mais pas beaucoup. Donc, j'ai environ deux carrés ici et je vais mettre trois quarts de carré de blanc pour deux carrés de soufflé de, de bleu et je vais mélanger ça. Ensuite, je veux euh, mélanger le wasabi. Donc, je vais faire 
ou 2 pour 1. 2 wasabi pour 1 carré de blanc. Alors, laissez-moi les mélanger. Et je dis qu'on va faire un pendentif aussi, pas seulement des boucles d'oreilles. Parce que c'est euh, cette idée, euh, j'ai été inspirée par, par un des tutos, je ne sais pas si vous êtes familier avec euh, l'artiste russe euh, euh, Anna Oriona. I don't know if you know the, the Russian artist Anna Oriona. I absolutely love her work and the idea of this specific design uh, came from uh, one of her tutorials. Ah, uh, non, je sais que j'ai pas, j'ai pas de turquoise en primo. J'ai pas acheté de turquoise. Et elles sont très, très proches en couleur. Donc, tu peux utiliser le turquoise avec le, le blanc pour faire le mélange. Mais j'avais rien euh, dans le programme de, pour utiliser du turquoise. Donc, je n'ai pas acheté de turquoise, mais j'ai acheté un peu de Robin's Egg pour, pour avoir. Et oui, j'aime beaucoup le soufflet. C'est très, très, très euh, joli de travailler. Now, see, working with it, you figure out if everything goes nicely and if you need to add anything else. So, see, here I have the blue as the um, dominant and it is a very light blue so it will not take too much away from the darker um, mix of granite here i have the turnip dominant yeah exactly Anna Oriona or Anna Oskinai. I actually referenced, uh, if you go to my blog, and I'll put a link in the description after this video gets uploaded. But in my blog, when talking about the live event today, I actually uh, showed her the video that inspired me to do this design. So now I have all my mixes done. And before I go forward, I want to show you a very easy way. Probably you've seen it with other artists, but it's a very easy way to make uh, templates. Because honestly, cutters are very expensive. Uh, you can go and look in my blog and you'll get uh, um, the link and you can see her channel. Donc, je disais, je vais vous montrer comment faire des gabarits parce que les cutters sont si euh, coûteux. Et, honnêtement, vous, vous avez besoin des cutters seulement quand vous faites des, des pouf, pouf tap pendentifs. Donc, you only need the cutters really only when you do those uh, puff tap pendants and beads. Um, so you can make very easy uh, templates 
the way that I do it, I get the very heavy watercolor paper. I'll show you what kind. So you have to look for it to be acid free, but most of it is acid free. But where you look, you look at the weight. It has to be a very high weight. And that is a very good uh, cardboard to use for templates because it's very, very thick. And these are not very expensive. So, uh, ce que j'ai dit, c'est très facile de, de faire des gabarits qui sont très uh, résistants. Vous prenez uh, du papier pour, le, pour peindre à l'aquarelle. Et ce que vous devrez euh, chercher est un papier qui est très, très lourd. Parce que c'est euh, assez gros pour résister. Et moi, ce que je fais après que je, je coupe mes gabarits, euh, j'applique euh, du vernis euh, aux deux côtés. Et... Comme ça, elle résiste pour longtemps. Uh, what I said is that what I usually do, um, I make, uh, I, after I cut my uh, templates, I varnish them on both sides. And that way, they are very, very resistant and they last for a long time. She must shoot. Shoot. So to make a nice uh, template, I'm going to just get some regular paper this time, but uh, I showed you how to make templates that would last longer. So I said we're going to make a pendant and uh, earrings, and the earrings will have to match the pendant, obviously. So, and I'm going to do it in two here. So I can have one that I can cut afterwards. Uh, let's do one of those long things. So let's go like this. And then let's go like this. So we have the pendant. It's a little bit too wide. Make it a little bit thinner. Now this is much better. So this is for the pendant. And then I will just go and make this following the line, but go much inside. And now we have the earrings with the shape that matches the pendant perfectly. Il n'y a pas de quoi. Alors, le, toute la technique n'est pas euh, très difficile. Ce, ce que on fait, et oui, on peut faire ça à l'extrudeur, mais premièrement, pas tout le monde qui euh, est un participant au, au live a un extrudeur. Et ensuite, moi, j'utilise l'extrudeur seulement quand j'ai un grand projet, pas quand j'ai un petit projet. Uh, so, what I said, um, what you need for this technique, it's, very, it's a very easy technique. Uh, but um, you can make it with an extruder, but I thought that not everybody who participates uh, has a, an extruder. So, uh, and I usually don't use the extruder unless I have some bigger project, because I hate to have to clean that thing for just a few strips. So I will hold on for something to wrap, and then I will make two sausages out of the metallic. And make sure you don't have air bubbles, 
and don't make the sausages too thin you want them to still have a little bit of thickness and with the other with the metallics that's what you do you just keep one little bit of uh, for uh, wrapping and the rest you make two sausages because you see I don't have a lot of metallic and the metallic shouldn't be uh, overpowering in your design it should be based more on the um, um, colors than on the metallic the metallic is just for an accent Okay, Sana so Oriana. Yeah, she has two channels. I'm not very interested in miniatures for some reason, even if I used to be a sculptor, I still am. But I was never, I mean, miniature, yeah, I do like miniatures, but I don't like all that uh, mini foods and mini plants and mini. Um, I like to watch somebody make them, but. I'm not uh, crazy about making them myself. Myself. So see, I got kind of like fatty sausages, and for the colors, I will actually make leave a little bit more for wrapping. And I will still make some sausages. I'm trying to work as fast as I can so I don't keep you too long. Hello, Helena. Yeah, j'aime bien que j'ai tellement de de personnes qui sont ici pour mon live. Bonsoir, Paquito. Ah, Paquito, j'ai vu un, uh, un de tes cannes. Je crois que j'ai laissé un commentaire. C'était, elle ressemblait beaucoup à le cœur de la fleur du lotus. J'ai trouvé ça très, très, très super. J'ai aimé beaucoup. Yeah, it's a lot of French people, <laughs> French speaking people, not just from France, but from Belgium and Canada and all over. So again, with this one, I will leave a little bit more for wrapping and I will make some uh, sausages. Pourquoi la faute de Delphine? That's fine, Paquito. Je, je parle le français. Well, bon. Le français que j'ai pas oublié. Mais je comprends le français très bien. Penny. Who's Penny? And the USA. Yeah, I know the USA is here. But you know, what I was saying is that it's kind of normal because I'm a, an artist based in the USA. So it would be kind of normal to have a lot of uh, mostly USA people coming to a, to a live event. But uh, uh, it's kind of unusual to have so many French people for, a, for a, an American artist. Oh, merci. Vous devez m'envoyer le, le lien pour tout ça. Parce que je veux, je veux les voir aussi, mais euh, si je ne... Oups, excusez-moi. Si je ne suis pas en sommeil. <rire> parce que vous savez mes problèmes. J'ai été très bien dernièrement. Je n'ai pas dormi pendant la journée plus de... Je sais pas, quart d'heure. 
Donc, euh, je crois que c'est aussi le, le problème des, des carbs, des carbohydrates. Mais pourquoi? Yeah, I said that I was so much better in the last week. Um, and I think that it's a lot the, the carbs in my diet because I was careful to uh, reduce the carbs that I ate. And I was able to not sleep during, during the day. Uh, I think only one day I had that I slept during the day. But the rest, I was okay with just uh, like 15 minutes nap. And I didn't feel that tired. Oh, and by the way, last night, I finally managed to sleep, to have a deep sleep, you know, and feel rested and everything. And I heard some thunder. I woke up for a few seconds during the night a few times, and I heard thunder, but, you know, I was so sleepy that I didn't really pay much attention to it. And then I wake up in the morning, and there were tornadoes not far away from where I am. So, yeah, for one, I sleep long enough, and then look what happens. J'ai dit que uh, la nuit passée, pour la première fois, j'ai dormi très, très bien. Et je me suis réveillée pendant la nuit deux ou trois fois parce que j'ai entendu la tonnerre et j'ai dit, oh, bien, c'est une tempête. Et ensuite, quand je me suis réveillée ce matin, j'ai vu qu'il y a eu de, une, tor une grande tornade pas loin de moi. Ah, oh, c'est sympa. So, as you can see, I have two sausages of each color. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do some combinations. First, I'm going to wrap each sausage in the um, uh, other two colors. But I will still need more wrapping, not just for this. So... That's why I kind of tried to make the sausages pretty much equal. Oui, une, une tornade. Well, bon, je suis en uh, Oklahoma et ça c'est le pays des tornades. Mais habituellement, euh, dans, pendant l'été, on n'a pas beaucoup de tornades. Donc, ça a été vraiment euh, assez effrayant. Donc, ça. Et c'est quoi ton projet? Je veux savoir c'est quoi ton projet. Ah, merci pour me dire. C'est mieux? Non, si, vous savez, je vais vous montrer qu'est-ce qu'il se passe. Pourquoi parfois je, je ne vois pas que je suis euh, en dehors du, du caméra. Parce que j'ai... Je vais vous montrer. I'm going to show you what happens and why sometimes I'm not aware that I'm out of the camera. Let me take this out. And I will show you what happens. Si. I have two desks and uh, they are facing each other 
One is the computer desk that's in front of me and I just turn the monitor this way. And here is my working desk. And then I have this lamp that's actually attached to the computer desk so that when I move the table, the lamp will not be moved. But what happens is the, the lamp is between me and the monitor. So I have to be very careful because sometimes it doesn't, sh uh, I don't see in time when I'm out of the uh, camera field. Ce que j'ai dit, je vous ai montré comment mon uh, setup est et pourquoi parfois je ne suis pas, uh, je vois pas que je suis au dehors de, de la caméra parce que le, le pied de cette lampe que j'ai la, la caméra uh, au-dessus est uh, entre moi et uh, l'écran. Donc, uh, il peut passer un peu de temps uh, pour moi voir que je ne suis pas dans la, la caméra. Alors, now you can see well. I know you can see well now. So what I'm doing, I'm getting, because I had two sausages each from each of the colors on both combinations. Oh, I hate female. Uh, with, and on each of the sausages, I am wrapping them in the two, two other colors, practically. And believe me, this is the longest part of the whole um, project. It takes the longest. And once you're done with this, it goes like this. But what I, uh, I found, one of the very good ways to, to soften any clay is with Sculpey's clay softener. And also, Marina, uh, Unruly Housewife has posted a, a tutorial a couple days ago on how to soften Fimo using a Fimo Quick Mix. Yes, I get each... I get, because I had two sausages of each of the three colors, and I'm getting each color wrapped in the other two. So I have, like, I have the metallic uh, dark silver sausage. I'm going to wrap one sausage in the white and one sausage in the blue. And the same for the blue. I'm going to wrap one sausage in the white and one sausage in the gray. Yeah, um, Unruly Housewife has posted a video and she shows there's uh, something that you can find in the FEMO line that's called FEMO Quick Mix. And it helps with uh, softening, including crumbly, old crumbly FEMO. You might want to look on her, uh, on her um, um, channel. Okay, I did this, I did this. Oh, merci. C'est bon pendant la journée, mais pas au soir, parce que lorsque je j'ai la lampe, ça fait beaucoup de réflexion. Pendant la journée, quand j'ai la lumière from le, la fenêtre, c'est très bien. Okay. I'm trying not to make doubles. So 
Salut, salut à tout le monde. Hello, everybody. I didn't say hello to. Now that I did this, see, I still have some little remnants that I'm going to be using for wrapping. No, I still have one to wrap. So I have the white. I need the... Um, I, I still have a white sausage to wrap. I don't know what to tell you. Did you try uh, mixing it with the uh, female liquid? Female liquid is a little bit sticky when you start mixing, actually. But after you finish mixing, it gives an absolutely beautiful feel to the clay. Absolutely gorgeous. You can mix it with liquid scalpy, of course instead of the clay softener but what i usually do when i have very stubborn uh clay uh get one of those small food processor that's used for um cutting stuff for um making salsa or salads you know those little ones that are anywhere between eight and fifteen dollars a piece and use that just for polymer clay and just get the polymer clay in uh, small pieces put it in there and put a little bit of clay softener and give it a few uh, pushes on the button and after that normally it gets fairly well uh, blended but yeah female professional especially is very hard the female soft is so and so but female professional is horribly hard we say formidable on la de mec too No, I have, see, I still have a little bit of wrapping of each color. Just a little bit on some, a little bit more on others. Uh, what I'm going to do, why do I have a, I have too much? No. Oh, yeah, I have one that's not wrapped. See, I missed it. So this one needs to be wrapped in this. And there we go. And I have to have two like this, two like this, and two like this. That's how you count if you got them all. The same as you had two before with the original color, you have to have two of each wrapped. Bonsoir, bonsoir. And now what you do let's see i still have a little bit of let's go on this one i still have a little bit of turnip and a little bit of avocado so i definitely um cannot use and then i can do this but i need them way thinner so i'm going to actually cut this sausage in two and start reducing it a little bit. Oui, oui, le pouce bleu. Merci, merci, le pouce bleu. And I am going to do a double wrap on some of them. Even if inside it's still the, the turnip, it's okay. that's what we want and then i'm going to double wrap this one too in the wasabi and i am going to get it's just to make a, a nice color combination you know and then i'm going to get this and try and Get a little bit of this. Just bits and pieces. I'm trying to uh, keep up with the chat too.
And I'm going to have to uh, thin them out anyway more for the second part of the tutorial. And I think to not make things too long, I will finish this color combination off camera. And as usual, I will post the, the results. But let me move these out of the way and I will finish them off camera and focus on one because we don't want to be here till six o'clock. All right. Now, I am going for a minute to thin this out. Merci, merci. And just cut little bits and pieces, but about the same size as length. Now I have little bits and pieces of this. It's be careful because it's very hard to it's very easy to get uh, confused. Attention parce que c'est très très facile de de get uh, confus dans tout ça. Alors j'ai mis tous mes petites pièces ici pour ne pas les mélanger avec les autres pièces. Ensuite je vais réduire un peu tous les saucissons. Now I am reducing all the little sausages a little bit. Actually, not a little bit, about half of what they are now. And it doesn't take long. I just have too much here. But I will have some with just simple wrapping and I will have some with double wrapping. Of course, you can use more colors if you want. But I usually try to refrain to at most four. Uh, the best is when you can get a combination of three. Oh, no, la Guimauve ici, too? Oh, mon Dieu, je suis si heureuse. I've been watching your videos. Well, the ones on polymer clay mostly. I still didn't have time to do much in terms of resin. Did you guys see Teresa Salgado's big goblet? Bonsoir, bonsoir. Est-ce que vous avez vu le, le grand uh, verre de, de Teresa Salgado de Tiny Pandora? Elle a fait, il y a un, un grand verre comme un verre de cognac, mais c'est énorme. Elle a fait des, des cannes qui sont translucentes et avec de, euh, des paillettes. Euh, la plupart, c'est de, de Christy Friesen paillettes, mais mon Dieu, c'est super uh, c'est pas dans YouTube, regarde dans Facebook, uh, cherche sa, sa page, parce que c'est sur sa page, c'est, oh my God, it's fantastic. Now I'm going to get the same length from the small ones. Well, approximately, not to lengthen this too much. And I think that this, uh, I made this uh, pattern with uh, all metallics and it came up beautifully. Now you can choose one or two 
and just uh, reduce them a little bit more. I'm going to get this one because it's kind of fat. And this one is long enough. So I'm going to just make these even thinner. Yeah, Teresa Pandora says la rende can. Si tu ne, ne sais pas, uh, son nom c'est Teresa Salgado. Et elle a des, des choses à vendre aussi qui sont exceptionnelles pour les cannes, uh, comme les, des choses que tu mets à la fin des cannes et ça met les cannes à ne pas sortir. Oui, Teresa Pandora. Salgado. Et, euh, la, le website c'est tinypandora.com. Elle a des, des gabarits pour les bracelets et beaucoup d'autres choses. Et pour un collier qui est super. Mais euh, ce que je disais c'est que elle est une des meilleures experts en Cannes. Et elle a fait des cannes translucents et avec des paillettes. Et elle a habillé ce euh, gobelet de cognac. So, so what I'm doing now is I'm just putting these together and trying to kind of mix and match. So I don't have many that would be the same. And I am pretty much almost done with uh, building. Donc, je mets tous les petits bouts et j'essaie de ne pas avoir beaucoup qui sont euh, avec le même euh, extérieur. Ce n'est pas toujours possible, mais essayez. Et de ne pas avoir beaucoup qui sont la même épaisseur aussi. Once you build this whole thing, all it is after that is just uh, slicing and then you have your veneer for your pendants and your earrings. This is the longest part. Donc, j'ai dit que euh, lorsque vous avez euh, établi ces deux euh, blocs, vous, vous êtes à peu près euh, fini parce que tout ce qu'il reste est de, de couper et mettre les, les pièces sur le or to la base. And of course, you use a scrap clay base and try to go a little bit in a rectangle. If you can. But it's all a game of color here. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to say in English too. So all the the whole thing is just to put these together. Try to avoid having too many colors uh, with the same wrap. So you you should end up with something like this. And just press them a little bit together. And then put them aside, and now we are going to work on this one. Now on this one, I'm going to reduce them even more. And I said, after we do this, we are pretty much done. It's The whole deal is to, to build these. Donc, j'ai dit qu'on doit réduire uh, ceci un peu plus. And lorsqu'on fait uh, le deuxième bloc, nous sommes à peu près finis. Tout ce qu'il reste de couper uh, les... Uh, oh, Cécile, how do you say slices? I forgot. Yes, randomly, but make sure that you don't have many with the same uh, wrapping color. 
together. Try. I mean, you won't be able to do it, but definitely if you have two of the same color, make sure that they are not the same size. So now you want to get your logs uh, pretty much the same thickness, even if they are not the same length. Because remember, each log has a different color inside. Oh, yes, the barbed wire. I love that. It's beautiful. Yeah, I have the I have the tutorial on it. And I actually made also a piece to show how it can be used. But even in the tutorial, I show how versatile it is. You can arrange it in various patterns and get new designed, new designs. I posted it like a week ago, I think. Uh, hold on. Let me look for it. I'll put the link here. Okay, here's the link. Don't forget to send me photos on Facebook. I want to see what you're doing. Okay, now I reduced pretty much all my uh, sausages. And what I am going to do I'm going to start building them up a little bit. Not much. just a little bit because I will be adding these other ones. So I have them like this. See, I just got random, four of them randomly. Donc, après vous euh, faites réduire tous vos petites saucissons, vous prenez euh, trois ou quatre d'eux et vous les mettez ensemble et pincez ici et ensuite commencez les vous ne devez pas les flatten Cécile help moi help me and then you start kind of spiraling them but you are going to randomly Add some more. I told you I did this um, in all metallics and it came up absolutely gorgeous. I still have to try it in all the uh, per lessons. Don't you see how I uh, how I keep adding to the spiral? Uh, originellement uh, de Roumanie, mais j'ai uh, oh, environ une huitième de. C'est ma grand grand mère qui était française. Yes, I do. Uh, from my grandma, I started learning French actually when I was three years old, so it was almost like my second mother's tongue. But as I lived in the U.S. for almost 
for over 18 years now. I didn't have a lot of opportunities to, to talk French. So that's what happened. So make sure that you don't have any air pockets, okay? So now you got this. And very careful because I'm going to show you something here. That is very important. Bonsoir, Regine. Je vais vous montrer quelque chose maintenant et c'est très important pour la, pour la bonne réalisation de cet effet. Donc, euh, prenez beaucoup d'attention. Vous voyez, j'ai fait comme, un, euh, comme une bûche, oui, en ajoutant des petits euh, saucissons, mais je veux la faire déformer un tout petit peu, pas beaucoup. Alors, euh, pensez que c'est la table ici. So I'm going to deform this little log. Think that this is the table here because I cannot show from the side. So I'm trying to explain what I'm going to do. So if this is the table here, I'm going to press with the acrylic and kind of shift it to the side. Donc je vais appuyer avec le bloc acrylique et légèrement la faire déformer euh, un peu. Make sure it's stuck to the table. And then, as I said, you're going to press and slightly shift it. See, just like this, not more. So, see how it looks now? And now I'm going to kind of press it so it will stay this way deformed because that's going to help when creating the effect. And now I can press it again into the normal log. And see, now I have the log just a little bit deformed. Uh, I speak, so right now very well, I speak Romanian and English and you know how I speak French. And then I'm pretty good in Spanish and Italian. I understand Russian and Bulgarian a little and Slovakian and Latin. I know that's horrible. Okay, now we are going to cut the the templates and actually not this thick. Going to go like the second. You don't want this to be very, very thick. I'm going to go the uh, second th thinnest. Not the first, the thinnest, thinnest, because it's kind of hard to work with. So I'm going to get my templates. Hello. Okay, am I in the, you know what, let me get rid of the autofocus because I don't need it. There we go. And now I have to take off my glasses. So you cut your template. Oh, yeah, um, I'm going to work. I'm not sure if this afternoon or tomorrow, but look forward because uh, remember, I started the transparent canes. So not the next one, but the one after next will be a transparent floating cane. And the next one that I already started working on is the Tsunami King. 
because in the end I will be making a tsunami transparent floating cane. And of course a piece to go with it. Okay, I didn't cut here. Okay, now I cannot see the chat because I don't have my glasses on. I'll put them on in a minute. Now I can see again. Okay. Oh, merci. Thank you. Qu'est-ce que c'est, um, Dere? Qu'est-ce que c'est ça? OK, and as I said, once you're done with these, you're pretty much done for uh, what you have to do. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, it's very simple now. We are just cutting slices. What did I do with my blade? Where's my blade? Oh, here's my blade. We are just cutting slices and then combining the slices. Ah, okay, okay. C'est comme l'oil. Huh. And I'm going to kind of try and get them a little bit. I hope I can cut. I cannot look from above. See, I didn't do that a good of a job in this corner, mixing them. And then I will cut slices from this. Yes, c'est plus moderne. Euh, euh, le fait, c'est que pour l'année, euh, cette année, on a le, le avocado wasabi et le, ce tenip, son fuchsia, sont parmi les couleurs de l'année. Et avec une combinaison d'argent. And of course, I'm not going to keep this one. I don't like it. It's too dull. I'm going to keep only the ones that have a nice uh, color combination. But now you see why I shifted the cane. Oui, c'est les spirales qui m'ont euh, qui m'ont inspiré à faire ça. But as I said, not all the slices will be uh, very pretty, but you shift the cane exactly to get as many uh, effects as you can. Of course, you can also slice it. That's another way to slice them, and uh, uh, they are very nice if you slice them with the wavy blade, with the ripple blade. 
J'ai dit qu'une autre façon de les couper, c'est d'utiliser votre... Comment est-ce que vous appelez ça? Utilisez ça quand, quand vous coupez les, les spirales et ensuite, quand vous, les, vous passez le, le petit roller au-dessus, c'est encore plus d'effet. Pat Burke. Oh, okay. Lamond du lait. Well, yeah, that was a no-brainer. So, oh, this one on this side is okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This one is okay. This one. This one. This one and this one is fat. Okay, so let's see if I use this. Like this. Can you see what I'm doing here? You cannot see what I'm doing here. You know what I was just thinking right now? If a certain person is going to discover suddenly overnight the spiral effect because she was playing with clay and she just stumbled upon it. You know how that goes. Mais oui, essayez de ne pas les mettre une au-dessus de l'autre pour ne pas faire beaucoup de, de volume. Ok, Pat Burke se scrapé. Yay! J'apprends de nouveaux mots. Merci. Mais vous savez, avec le pâté burk, réservez le pâté burk parce qu'on va faire euh, parfois dans les prochaines deux semaines, je vais faire le strapple cane, euh, mais mes variants sur le strapple cane. Donc, vous avez besoin de beaucoup de pâté burk. So keep the scrap clay parce que je vais well, because I'm going to make a, sometime in the next two weeks I'll do the strapple cane and uh, my own variants on that and you will need all kinds of scrap canes. On that. Quoi, 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 support? Quand vous déformez cette canne, vous voulez qu'elle colle au-dessus de, de la table pour, 
pouvoir être capable de la déformer. Et non, je n'utilise jamais le talc parce que j'ai trouvé, c'est mon impression, qu'il euh, reste un peu dans l'argile et il change la, la texture de l'argile un peu. C'est pourquoi je n'utilise jamais le talc. J'utilise le armoroll. Ce... C'est un psychédélique. Psychédélique. No, I think I showed you before how to cut without uh, problems. How to cut these without problems. When you have to, when you're done with all these veneers. So first of all, of course, you need to get the roller on top and get them a little bit even, of course. I would not uh, suggest to get with the pasta machine because if you do, you're going to deform the pattern too much. So I'd only go with the roller. No, jamais. De poussière de l'alcool. Et aussi le, le armoral euh, nettoie un peu aussi. Mais comme j'ai dit, j'utilise le armoral pour ne pas coller, pour éviter que chose colle. Et je crois que pour mettre en euh, plus en vue euh, cet effet, il nécessite un bezel blanc. Donc je crois que je vais le faire blanc. I think I, I said that I think that something that would bring pop out more the the color combo effect will be a white bezel and I think that that's what I'm going to do a white bezel. Okay, now let me show you if you haven't seen before how I do cut these to make sure that they are uh, nice. So I have them between two pieces of wax paper, right? This time I'm turning them upside down and I remove the back wax paper. And uh, then I do the cuts. I mean, you can use the templates if you want, or you can just use your flexible blade. Et je sais, c'est pas vraiment une de mes, dans mon style de, de bijoux, mais j'ai pensé que vous, vous aimeriez voir comment faire cet effet. I said, I'm not, it's not really my style of uh, pieces, but I thought that you would enjoy uh, to see how to make this special effect. And I know a lot of people enjoy this type of um, jewelry and like it a lot.
Oops. In bubble. And I'll just put the that wax paper back here. And there you go, all my pieces. So you can see the effect of the psychedelic two canes. But yeah, all the color combinations that I suggested to you would make pretty much the same psychedelic type um, combination. So this is it. Thank you. <laughs> I will make the the other color combination, the white with the blue and the dark uh, silver. And then, of course, I will bake them and then put a back on them and put a, a bezel. And then, uh, of course, I'll make the video on how I'm finishing them after I bake this. So, I guess it's been an hour and a half and you've been here with me for an hour and a half. <laughs> You realize that? Oh, merci, merci. Mais vous avez vu que la, la plupart du travail, c'est uh, préparer ces, ces, ces petites cannes, ces petits blocs, parce que ce pas des cannes. Uh, the, the most work is to... Non, non. Euh, ça, c'est du papier avec un peu de cire. Wax means cire. Donc, il n'y a pas du tout d'absorption. Tu peux euh, conserver l'argile euh, la, polymérique. Euh, parfois, je la conserve comme ça, dans, la, dans de, du papier cire. Tu vois là, comme j'ai montré les euh, perles au début de ce live, c'est comme je, tu peux les conserver, ne, ne sont jamais euh, sèches. Tu vois? Parce que c'est la cire qui empêche l'huile qui est dedans de s'évaporer de, de tout ça. So, yes, we, we, I have a, oh, that's great. That's great. And you've seen there's a lot of color combinations. You can go by the color combinations that I posted on the, the discussion. And also, as I said, it looks, now let me tell you something. When you use the metallics, uh, the result is very different. It looks almost like a mineral. Moi, je le trouve dans les, dans les magasins. Je disais que euh, vous devez prendre attention parce que si vous utilisez cette technique avec des métalliques, euh, le résultat n'est pas si comme psychédélique, comme ça, et joli, et fou, et tout ça. No, it resembles some, some sort of de mineral. C'est vraiment, vraiment joli. C'est très, uh, très peu uh, cher ici. Moi, j'achète des... Tu sais comment on trouve les, le papier aluminum? Moi, je le trouve comme ça. Et c'est un dollar. Pour le rouleau, mais je crois que tu peux, tu peux le trouver sur l'Amazon. Je vais chercher et voir si, si tu peux trouver ça en, en France. Ok, 
aquí esa ah oui oui ce, ce serait bien mais elle peut être plus euh, prenez attention prenez attention parce que euh, vous pouvez les trouver euh, cher ou pas cher donc euh, je sais pas que papier sulfurisé <rire> oui, Delphine, tu dois mettre du papier cire dans ton magasin. So that is wonderful. So surely be careful. As I said, if you're using the the metallics, you'll you'll be getting a wonderful mineral effect. It doesn't really look like metal anymore, but some kind of a mineral. I don't know. Iron, copper, mineral, crystal -y thing. And um, if you put on top uh, translucent, it's going to give you a little bit of a mica shift effect, especially the spirals are going to give you a little bit of mica shift effect. J'ai dit que si vous utilisez les métalliques, comme j'ai dit, euh, ça va montrer comme un minéral. Et euh, si vous mettez du translucent au-dessus, vous allez obtenir un peu de mica shift. Thank you, Rosanna. Grazie. Grazie. Je crois que oui, oui, le papier fleuriste n'a pas, pas de style. Je crois pas que c'est de la cire. Okay, so I don't promise that I'm going to post the, the finishing video today because I'm a little tired. I've been working on stuff all morning, but I promise I will uh, post it tomorrow. Okay, if I don't manage to do it today. And uh, thank you for being here with me. And I am glad you enjoyed my little technique. And I will post the, as I said, the link uh, with the video where I got inspired from is on my blog, but I'm going to put it on the description of this video too, so you can find it easily. Ça c'est double. Ok, je vais laisser ça ouvert pour un peu, pour un peu plus so, pour ce que vous pouvez uh, discuter. Thank you so much. I'm going to leave it a few minutes more so uh, they can finish talking. <laughs> well, they just discovered the wax paper and everybody's very happy and I hope that Delphine can uh, can bring the wax paper to them. I am going to look myself and see uh, if there's any wax paper supplier close to France or in France. He, that wouldn't be so expensive. Thank you. Thank you, Claire. I'll see you all next Sunday. Et merci beaucoup et pour, pour votre support. N'oubliez pas de m'envoyer les liens pour euh, tous les, les lives que vous faites parce que je ne les ai pas. Je vous en prie. Merci, merci. Have a nice sun, uh, Sunday, rest of Sunday. Oui, oui, tous les dimanches. C'est à 8 heures de France, non Parce que je sais que c'est uh, Greenwich minus uh, 6. Oui, tous les dimanches uh, à Greenwich minus 6. So, have a great day and I will see you next Sunday. Thank you for being here with me. Goodbye. Happy playing. <laughs>